And of course, notice that they continually feed me garlic. It's because they're afraid that I could be either when I first got here or now, it's like, or much later, turn into a vampire. Still you remain. It is a wonder you have managed to live so long. Yep, still alive. Now you can ask him about stuff. What is it you want? Again, he doesn't warm up to us until later. To tell the Burgermeister about your adventures in Shapir. So, you are the son of a Sultan. Your stories are better than a thousand and one nights. Yeah, because our story was basically the Aladdin story without us, you know, being the Disney version. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. What is he going to tell us about? Nikolai is an old man and easily confused. His wife has been missing for years now. He cannot face the fact that she is gone. It used to be that the only monsters around here were the occasional wyverns. Now there are many dangerous things in the valley. It is safe only within the town gates. Yes, he d he's the only one in this game, if I remember correctly, that does the Wichter Wichter thing. Castle Borgov is north of the town. The last of the Borgov family left this valley years ago. Now it is inhabited by some cousin. The people of the castle do not bother this town. I suggest strongly that you do not bother the people of the castle. This town was quiet until you arrived. I am keeping my eye on you. All right, that's enough. Let's get to our training. Now, of course, this isn't the only way there is to train. You can go out and fight stuff and all that, but it's just the way that I do things. The headstone carver stares at you and then goes back to work. You tell Igor about your adventures since your last visit. Igor listens while he works, but doesn't comment. Because I really haven't done anything other than going into the monastery, and he knows about that. <laughs> he saw me do it. Igor, very happy! <laughs> Little graveyard humor there! <laughs> yeah, that one's not very good. Oh, Igor not hear rumors. Igor not know Olga's husband run off years back. Nobody tell rumors to Igor. Yeah, Olga, the shopkeeper, her husband, she tells everyone that her husband is dead. He's not dead. We'll meet him later. Eh, nothing good. <laughs> Alright, so to continue training on the weight machine, you have to go over here and put two balls in the baskets. You pick up two of the metal weights and put one in each of the baskets. And more strength training. Your legs are too stiff and sore to use this right now. After some rest. Good enough. There's only a certain amount of punishment your body can stand on any given day. Enough pain, enough gain for now. Try again tomorrow. Alright, now, since my climbing is only at 200, I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of my stand bar just to get it a little higher. And then after that, I'll uh, rest and go do stuff. Well. Oh, I didn't. Oh, stupid mouse moved. 
That's why I hate corded mice. That's why wireless rig decided to uh, take a crap on me. Well, that was. Not that I really well, care. Well, that was fun. Well, if you look at the bulk of uh, the Sierra games when they first started doing voice actors, uh, Tim Curry as uh, Gabriel Knight. Well, that was. You know, they were going after you know big name people at the time to do the voice acting. Well, that was. You know, and since our main character in uh, Quest for Glory does not have a foot, you know, he never actually talks. You know, the narrator is the voice of the main character. Well, that was fun. So they got. I always forget if he's John Reese Myers or Davis or Davies. It's that other dude. Well. <laughs> yeah, since it's like the same like John Reese, and then their last name. You know, well. it always confuses the hell out of me. I don't know why. Well, that. But yes, the dwarf from Lord of the Rings. Well, that. <laughs> to put it simply. All right, last time. All right, let's uh, see here. I want to get some stamina uh, before I leave. After. What time is it? Alright, I got a little bit of time before it turns to night, so let's go accomplish some things just to uh, make sure we get things set up. Still, you re Yes, you've said that already. We know you hate us. Quest for Glory music. Pretty much the only time you're going to hear it in this game. Let's go see if we can find the, uh, <laughs> the Monty Python bunny. That's always, uh, fun thing for people to see. I don't think I'm going to get attacked by the bunny. Bastards. Oh well. It's not exactly why I came out here in the first place, but... Uh, Dr. Cranium? No, you don't have to go to him immediately. Alright, so let's see. We want rocks. We managed to knock a few of the rocks loose from the pile although the remaining stones still dam up the pool. You knocked some more rocks loose. The pile is definitely loosening. This is all thanks to our throwing training from Quest for Glory 3. That last throw did it! The rock pile has collapsed and goo is oozing down from the pool. And now we get the bush. Alright, 
Now we need you. You slowly fill your flask with the greasy, grimy goo. We're gonna get two. You slowly fill your flask with the. Okay, we've already heard you. Uh, now this is the squid stone that uh, they were referring to when we uh, went to talk to them about the ritual, or, well, no, talk, the uh, notes about the rituals. Now you can push this down and climb this because you can't go back up this way because it's all greasy and gooey and you just slide back down. So you just climb up this to go back to uh, the cave if you ever actually need to go there, which we do not for the time being. And no one attacking me. Let's go this way. I think it's on this screen. Or maybe it's only there at night. I don't know. There it is. We want a bone. You pick up a single slimy bone. You already got... Oh. You already got a good bone. Leave the rest of them alone. Whatever. <laughs> I thought it was better than that. Uh, one of the new stats that they added to this game is acrobatics, which basically allows you to flip. And uh, that swamp area where we just were and got the bone, that's basically where you, the only place you really use it. Other than combat. I think it has combat uh, abilities. I've taken it in the past, but it's a pain in the butt to level and then you don't really need it. You have a strange, disquieting feeling along with a sense of sorrow, longing, and unfulfilled desires as you near the lake. The briny lake seems to draw you towards it. Fan service time. Hello there. Could you help me? This water is so cold and I need someone to help warm me. Gee, that sounds inviting. Why don't you come to my arms so that I can give you a real greeting? Surely a hero like you will help someone like me. Please, take my hand. Alright, now this is the Rusalka, basically. It is so cold here in the lake. Please, come and hold me and help me to be warm again. The Rusalka basically wants you to go into the lake so she can kill you. I am the Rusalka. Please, take my hand and help me. If you take my hand, I'll be happy to show you what the lake is like. If you take my arms, I'll be happy to talk to you about anything you'd like. You ask what a nice girl like her is doing in a place like this. It's so nice here in the water. Why don't you join me? And pretty much that's the only responses you're going to get from her until you befriend her. Thank you for the beautiful flowers. No one has been so nice to me since I can remember. Now you can talk to her. It is lonely being a Ristalka. Anytime anyone nice comes along, I pull him into the lake and drown him. Once he's drowned, he's not much company, I'm afraid. I've been a Rizalka for so long, I've forgotten. This lake is surrounded on three sides by steep mountains. To the southwest, it merges with a swamp. The lake is not a safe place for you to swim. Many unpleasant things lurk in the deep water. The swamp is definitely a creepy place. Dead things lie under the water and try to drag the living underneath. Kinda sounds like my job description, doesn't it? Well, the things in the swamp are a whole lot nastier than I am, so be careful out there. I stay far away from them. They crawled into the lake from the swamp one day. Ugh, they remind me of worms and give me the creeps. I don't know much about the forest. I can't leave my lake, so 